Let's go! Your coding mission today is all about functions. A function is a block of code made up of a set of steps that result in a single specific action. A programmer, that's you, will give this action a simple name, so the set of steps can be easily repeated and reused again and again in your program. You use functions when you get ready in the morning. Think about the tasks in your morning routine. Maybe you take a shower, get dressed, eat breakfast, brush your teeth. All of these actions are made up of a sequence of smaller tasks. For example, there are multiple things you do when you get dressed, like choose your outfit, underwear, clothes, outerwear, accessories, shoes. Since you probably go through these steps in the same order every day, it's easier just to think of them all together as one action with one name, like get dressed. The same is true for the rest of your morning tasks. When you take a set of steps that you use a lot and give it a simple name, you are creating and using a function. Here's your mission. Write out the get dressed function that describes your morning routine. Then build a fuzz encodable and create a get dressed function with the same number of steps as yours. Let's take a deeper look at how a programmer creates and uses a function. Step one, define the function. This means deciding what sequence of steps you want to happen each time the function is used. Take a moment to think about the steps you follow when you get dressed in the morning. What clothes do you put on first? How many items do you wear? Do you put on any accessories like hats, necklaces, or glasses? Write out at least five steps. You can pause the video here to finish writing. Step two, use the function. In code, this means calling the function by simply typing out its name, get dressed. In your everyday life, calling the function just happens inside your head when you decide, okay, it's time to get dressed. Did you know the codable fuzzes use this function too? Only the sequence of steps in the get dressed function for a fuzz won't be the same as yours. Your mission today is to build a fuzz and define the steps for its get dressed function just like you did for your own. Get creative! There are tons of different items and accessories to choose from. Let's walk through this together in Codable's Fuzz Builder. Click the Build button and give your new fuzz a name. Now, notice how there are two functions already in our code. Remember, a function is a block of code that results in a specific action. I can see the first action is to set up fuzz, and the second action is to get dressed. First, I will code the steps in the setup fuzz function by choosing a body, eyes, and a mouth. Now it's time to write the get dressed function. Take a look back at the number of steps in the function you just wrote for yourself. Then select the same number of items and hats as you build your fuzz. So, if I added five steps to my function, I will add five items or hats to my fuzzes as well. Remember, the steps inside a function will always run in sequence, so the item in your first line of code will be added to the fuzz first. If you don't like the way some of the costume items look, like this beard covering the wand, try changing up the sequence. Much better. Once you've completed the get dressed function and coded the rest of your fuzz, you can use this new fuzz as your character in the game. Switch between all the fuzzes you build to give them each a spin around the universe. Now it's your turn. Write out the get dressed function that describes your morning routine. Build a fuzz in codable and create a get dressed function with the same number of steps as yours. Good luck.